What is precision medicine and what is its connection with modern imaging modalities? Precision medicine is an evolving methodology to treat and prevent disease that, contrary to the past, takes into account individual variability in genes, environment and lifestyle. Precision medicine involves integrating information from multiple sources in a holistic manner to achieve a definite diagnosis, focused treatment and adequate response assessment. Biomedical imaging and image-guided interventions are key elements in the infrastructure needed for precision medicine. Currently, a paradigm shift is taking place where multiple layers of information are combined to drive treatment decisions. Among those layers, imaging has a distinctive role since it represents one of the best methods to capture tumor heterogeneity not only in multiple levels, including molecular, functional and anatomical, but also in three-dimensional space and time. However, certain requirements need to be met, including development and utilization of advanced image analysis algorithms, high-throughput feature extraction and access to large databases from multiple centers. What is the role of oncologic imaging in a modern cancer hospital and why is it so important? Well, imaging is everywhere in the long journey of the oncologic patient. Initial diagnosis, staging, assessment of treatment response, detection of disease recurrence are based predominantly on different imaging modalities. Even in screening, imaging is of paramount importance. As in other fields of medicine, radiology is currently experiencing dramatic changes regarding the way that radiologists are dealing with images. A transition from visual interpretation of images which is highly variable to the extraction of dim high-dimensional meaningful data is happening, the so-called radiomic signatures that can be used in conjunction with deep learning algorithms to predict clinical outcomes. Nowadays, there is increased pressure to deliver high-value care instead of high-volume care. The availability of digitized medical data and the explosion in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning are setting the scene for groundbreaking changes that will take place in the near future in the clinical domain. Expert machines trained by expert radiologists will be responsible for the transition from empirical medicine to precision medicine, providing valuable help on reducing diagnostic variability and improving clinical outcomes. What imaging developments or innovations are you involved with at the moment? Sampalimo Foundation is the perfect place to work, not for the obvious reasons like working environment, the brand name or anything else, but the commitment from the board to boost further the development of imaging. One of the initiatives that I'm currently working is the formation of computational imaging group that will have a multidisciplinary character and will include biomedical engineers, computer scientists, mathematicians, physicists and radiologists. One of the first projects of the group will be the development of the Sampalimo hybrid radiomics platform that will be used to extract and analyze high throughput quantitative data from standard of care medical images with the intent of generating mineable databases that can be used to build predictive models relating imaging features or radio phenotypes to clinical outcomes, in other words, capturing tumor biology in space and time. So the typical workflow of radiomics comprise imaging, segmentation, feature extraction and analysis. So let me take the opportunity and share with you some examples of our group, starting with histogram analysis that is an advanced method that can be used to study tumor heterogeneity based on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel segmentation of the tumor and quantification of a parametric map like apparent diffusion coefficient. An alternative comprehensive way on assessing tissue heterogeneity is the so-called texture analysis that is a method to be used in order to reveal spatial relationships of signals between different areas of the tumor. In this example, someone can appreciate the vast number of information that we can achieve by texture analysis on a patient with prostate cancer. It is obvious that not all of the features provide with discriminative power and feature selection is the process where we reveal the most informative ones in order to train our algorithms.